Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Story Intensive Masterclass. Let's talk, let's come to the time in the call where you share a pitfall with us, something that you faced in your writing and how you got out of it. Here I am at the edge of the freezing cold northern Canadian lake in my swimsuit. Am I going to go in there? Yeah. <laughs> Put in tow? Maybe not today, <laughs> but I have to. So the running jump, the scream, you just have to plunge in, painful though it may be. In order to find out how to get said what must be said, you have to go to the place where there are no words. And you can only do that by going through yourself and intimately contacting the world. And then often, language will come forward from that. Yeah, that, and that's the job. Every day when I go in there, I have to shake myself and say, you don't know anything about this. You think you know what this book's about, and you, you better not. I don't think you can impose a structure on a story. I think you have to wait to write into it to find the structure that's inherent. Like when Michelangelo found the sculpture within the rock and chipped away the parts that weren't a part of that sculpture. Because I started in science fiction and fantasy, I feel a very deep connection with that community. A lot of it, it has to do with rules and with formulas. Uh, which I feel are there basically to be broken. Writers who publish often have perseverance, yeah. determination to finish the thing. <laughs> right around the corner where something has to happen, what am I going to do? And in my mind, there was this kind of big wall there that is separating me and my psychologically realistic, rational, quotidian mind with this magic that exists on the other side of the wall. And that wall is thick and impermeable, and, you know, I'm going to hurt myself by hurling myself against it. To me, love is magic, and art is magic, and writing is magic. There's really no difference. It's vision and spell and incantation and projection and creation and, and connection, a huge part of it. The answer is not in solving the puzzle. The answer is in establishing the puzzle. And that's what's so crazy. You're doing both sides.